Welcome back aliens, my name is Devin Reddy and in this video let's try to understand how can a method return the instance of an interface. I mean this concept is quite simple but then once you start working on this in the advanced part of Java or maybe in the collection framework or JDBC, sometimes we find it difficult to understand. In fact when I was learning this for the first time, I was finding it difficult how can a method return an instance of an interface. The code which you can see on screen, these four codes, are, you might have seen this in your uh, code which you write. Example, if you work with JDBC, we use uh, we use this thing. Yeah, when you work with uh, JDBC, we also use create statement, and we so when we work with collection, we work with iterator. And if you have worked on Hibernate before, so we use session factory there. So get connection is a method here, and so this method get connection returns an instance of connection, and that is weird, right? Because see, connect, connection is an interface, right? And of course, to instantiate it, we need a class. And then, Draw Manager is not a class which implements a connection. So how can you create an instance of that? Same goes with create statement. Create statement is a method, and statement is an interface. How can we instantiate interface without the implementation? And of course, same goes for iterator, uh, because iterator returns object of iterator interface. And we got build certain factory, which returns the instance of certain factory. To understand this concept, what I will do is I will go back to my code. In fact, I have I have written some code here, a pre-built code. Okay, so as you can see, we have a code here, a very small snippet where we have a runner class, uh, we have a phone interface, and then we have a class here which is called as build computer shop. Now this is my brother's shop, by the way. Uh, so so we are we deal in computers, right? So let's let's this, this will be quite interesting. So maybe we also sell mobile phones. What if I want to? So let's say if you have an object of BL computer, of course, right? It's a shop, right? So of course we have an object of that. So let's get object of BL computer shop here. So we'll say BL computer shop obj or maybe blcs equal to uh, I will say new BL computer. So that's our shop we got, right? Now, once I got this object of BL computer, but BL computer shop, I want a BL computer to give me a phone. So I would say, hey, I want a phone. So I want object of P1, but then phone is an interface, right? How can BLCS, which is object, can return you the phone object? Uh, maybe I can use a method which is get phone, but unfortunately, we don't have any method in BLCS which returns phone. Uh, let's try let's try so what i will do is i will go back to blcs and say hey blcs i want a phone object this is public phone it returns a phone object and i will say get phone but then how can we return a uh, object of phone now there are multiple ways of doing this the first way is by uh, creating a class which implements phone so the idea here is now if i go back to my notepad the idea here is whenever you have a method which returns the object of an interface they just want to hide the implementation because you know we have this we always create this layer of abstraction where you are concerned more about the what it does not on how it does so it's important what it does than how it is how it is doing it so you are trying to hide the implementation so you are not sure is it by implementing a class or by some other way but let's do that let's see what how we, how i can do that in in the back end so i will say i will get a class and I will say this class as Samsung and this Samsung implements a phone because all Samsung built a phone, right? Maybe I can say Samsung S7 or S8, but let's have a Samsung class. And this Samsung class, in fact, uh, Samsung Galaxy will make more sense, right? Uh, maybe Samsung S7 will, will make more sense. So I will say Samsung S7 implements phone. This Samsung S7 will implement both the methods now. It's compulsory, right? So I will say public call. I will, I will try to print something. I will say... Uh, calling and then the SMS as well. So I would say public void SMS and here I will say uh, Sending right so we got these two methods again. The logic is not important in the methods What's important is I'm trying to implement uh, the phone interface now once we got the implementation I can create an object of Samsung S7 as we know we can create object of Samsung S7 We can say Samsung S7 uh, Let's say S7 itself equal to new Samsung S7 here I can say S7, so we can return S7, right? So we can return S7. Now you might be thinking, we want object of phone, right? How can we return S7? Uh, the thing is, the Samsung, ob Samsung class implements phone. So if you want a phone, you can actually return S7. E example, if you want to call someone and if you don't have a phone with you, and your friend has S7, 
So would you say, hey, I want your S7 to call someone or will you say, give me your phone, I want to call someone. Of course, we refer normal things in, in a way of phone, right? And now you can see it is working. So get phone method returns an object of phone. This might be a static method or non-static method, that's fine because if you see the thing here, uh, this get connection is a static method, belongs to the manager class. And all other here, they are uh, non-static methods, right? Because we are using objects to call them. So if I go back here, so this S7 represents phone. So this is one way of creating the object here. And then using this phone, I can call someone. I can say p1.call, I can say p1.sms. So what you are concerned, you are concerned only about this stuff, which is you have a phone interface and you're able to call them. Who is giving you the object? Someone else. So BLCS is giving me the phone and I'm, I just, I'm just calling it and I'm sending SMS. Let me just run this code for you. I will say run as Java application. I'm waiting for the console to get the output and you can see we got the output as calling and sending. So there's one way. And again, as I mentioned, implementation is not our concern. We are focusing only on phone and BL computer shop. Now maybe BL computer shop have a different way of implementing it. Maybe they want to say phone, uh, maybe P1 equal to new phone. Now you might be thinking, is it possible to instantiate a, a interface? Of course not, right? We cannot do that. But then we have a concept of inner classes. So what we can also do is we can define those methods as a anonymous inner class. The important stuff here is you are not concerned about the implementation because what we are getting is an interface object, that's it. We are not concerned about the internal implementation. So it might be using anonymous inner class, uh, it might be with the help of separate class, it might be some, some other way, right? Maybe there's a pre-built class and they're just, they are just sending you the object of that pre-built pre class which implements uh, the phone interface. So what's important here is uh, you, will be, you will be coming across lots of things where you are instantiating an interface with the help of methods. So this is what is happening behind the scene. So don't worry, there is some class behind the scene which is implementing your interface and you are returning that object of that, of, that, of that class. So that's what I wanted to convey from this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you liked it, click on the like button and do subscribe for, for the videos. Thank you so much for watching everyone.